then we're going to do a video on containers. There are all kinds of diamond painting containers that you can use to put your drills in. We're going to go through step by step of which ones are they are and whether I personally recommend them or not. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do when we get started, let me move this out of the way. I already created one mess today. I don't mean to create another one. Is I'm going to show you how to reuse these diamond dot containers. I know a lot of you probably already know this. But for you who don't, you take your glue that you've already used out, or any container that looks like this. This saves on your glue so much. So I've got some thick glue right here. It's actually two sheets squished together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpeel the plastic that's on it. This is fresh glue. I only unpeeled one square. Okay, and this is, like I said before, there's two layers. So you're going to have four layers of the plastic to get off. Don't do like I did the first time and didn't get it off. So, there. So this little corner right here, we're going to kind of mush it together so that it makes one square. We're going to take this off, and I'm going to go ahead and undo it, which is four more pieces of plastic. And it does have static in it, as you can see. So this one is done. Let's do this one. Four pieces of plastic. There we go. It's not wanting to cooperate here. It's just no. So I'm going to smush these two together, and I'm going to take these two, and wrap that back up, okay? Now you need something that's non-stick to put it on. You're going to smush it together, so I'm going to use this bag right here. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take the container, and I'm going to see if it will go over it, which it will. I've done smushed it down enough. And I'm just going to press it like this. Press it in there with the plastic as tight in there as you can get it. Kind of do around the edges like this, like this right here. Excuse my nails, I haven't repainted them. Right. Then we're going to kind of mush it around. And then we're going to peel that off, and this is just going to come off. Okay? You can either save it or throw it away. And then you take this piece, one of these, and put it on top. Or you can save one of your round pieces from your diamond dots container. But this will work fine. Make sure you close it every time. And that's how you refill a diamond dots. Or that's how I refill one of these. These come in handy. I do keep these when I get them. Um, you can also do it with the bigger containers. show you or the extra diamonds in here that's where I keep my extra diamonds excuse the loud noise this time I'm going to use four squares okay. okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these off I know I said this was the container video, but this is kind of a container. 
on how to store your wax the best way that I store my wax. Like I said, say in every video, this is just my way of doing things. If you like it, I applaud you to go ahead and do it. If you don't like it, you know how to do it. It's just my way. I try to make life a little bit easier. Life is hard enough as it is. Because it's so staticky, it really, really is staticky. And I wish it would just come off in one piece. But it won't. And I haven't found, if y'all have found an alternative that works really good, other than wax, let me know. I've used um, the Tacky. Um, I saw that in one of the videos. Um, I saw Tacky in one video. I saw the wax pens, which I like them, but they, one pen will go for one, three by, I mean, 30 by 40. Okay, so we're going to kind of smush these lines together. Alright, now I'm going to put it on top. Now this, by no means, is going to make it fill up all the way. Just, if you want it to fill up all the way, you can just keep doing this over and over. But it's not going to with just two. Now, there's air in there, so I like to take one of my diamond painting pens with the long, and I poke the middle, like that, and then I push it through. Because you got to let that air that's trapped in there get out, so, and you, you, you it helps if you use your nail, just push it in here. I know you can't really see. But we're just pushing it in there. So if you want to push some more in there, you can. But to me this is this is perfect because my pen will go just like that. It's just thick enough as as my pen. I had to glue that back on. See? So, that's what I do with the big ones. And you can always just press it in there. Alright, and then you want to take a couple of these and put down in there on top of it. Because there is air in there and it will dry out and not work. So, I just smush some of these on there. Or if you want to make a big one, you could. And then put the lid on it, and you've got a dime thing you can take it. Drilled. There we go. I used to use the chalk pins. So that's how you do that. Now we're going to clean up our mess. Put my pan over here. I'm going to take the extra and put it in this Ziploc bag. Because you can just press this one in one. And if you want to save these little squares, you can, but I'm not going to. Believe me, I got enough stuff in here. Alright, so let me plug you in before you hear the ding and we get started. There we go. Alright, so this is the dining painting video on containers. Um, excuse me, still drinking coffee this morning. Um, so the very first container I want to show you 
are these. I've never seen anybody show these before. These are very secure. They pop open. This part right here comes out. No, it don't. That was another container that did that. But it pops open. They are connected. There's no getting them apart. It's very sturdy. It is not very deep. See that? It's not very deep. But it would work perfect for a special drill. And you could use, there's two of them right here. You can put the labels on here. They are very secure. I've done snapped it shut and it ain't coming undone. I had to force it open. It snapped shut. You can hear it. Listen. It's open. Close. So it's very secure. So these would be perfect for like a small painting or a special drill painting or something in that nature. And and I do like these, by the way. I just don't I don't like how small they are. There's a lot of containers out there that you can use and this is a video of just some of them. Um I don't think I need all of them. If I decide to get some more, I'll do another video of them. But this is just the ones that I have. Um, I do like these for a small painting. Like if my daughter's doing a diamond painting or something, I will give this to her to drill it out in or to kit it. So I do recommend this. I got these off of Ali, not AliExpress, Amazon. I think they came with a kit. Um, you sh you should see over there over there in a minute. I'm gonna show you the what they look like and the dimensions and everything. So let's get on to the next one. This one right here is another one. I think this one came with a kit. My daughter's actually got, she's using some of them for my, for a diamond painting. It does snap close. And they do come in different sizes. They come in larger sizes. Um, but they are connected. And this is what I do with my special drills and stuff. I don't really like the larger ones because they're connected and it's hard to fool with them. They're not very reliable on the snap. I've seen the larger ones. Actually, these are very reliable. But I've seen the larger ones to where they didn't want to open. Or they didn't want to close. So... But the smaller ones, I haven't had no problem out of. There's uh, seven that comes in this pack. And their dimensions are eight by five. There should be a dimensions on the side of them. I got this one on Amazon, too. And, um... <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I got my window open over here and my neighbor came home and Boudreaux who always sits behind me over here back there he heard the door the car door slam and he thought there was somebody here. I apologize about that. Back to what we were doing. This right here container it does the smaller ones are very reliable 
and it's great for like a little diamond painting or a special little diamond painting. It comes with, I done told you that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. My daughter has kitted a painting, so that's why they're missing. Makes the sapping noise that we like to hear, and it won't come undone. Um, the smaller one, they come in different sizes. The smaller ones are more reliable than the bigger ones. I've seen the bigger ones that didn't shut so great. This is not one that I particularly recommend, but it is one that I have. On to the next one. We're going to go on um, that last one. We You can get it on... Um, Amazon and AliExpress. Yeah, I don't know about Wish. I know you can get it on Peggy Buy. And you can get it on um, Etsy and e eBay and today's savings. Um, this one right here is one of the popular ones that everybody uses. Um, because it is very affordable. It costs $4.99. But it is at Harbor Freight. It is not online. Unless you go to harborfreight.com. I love this one. I recommend it. I love it. Absolutely love it. This one right here, it comes with the little thing that locks. The container that locks. And then it comes with these little fat squares. That lock also. They make the little popping sound and they are not coming undone. They're actually for men's storage, like bits or screws or whatever, but they are the perfect price and the perfect size for any 30 by 40 that has 24. Twenty-four um, drills like this one. This one is my butterfly, my birds that I haven't done, and it is already kitted. As you can see, it holds them well. It has been in there for about a half a year. I put it in there last year. So, and it does hold quite a many, because that's two bags of those. I really do recommend this one. It's cheap, affordable, um, and it's sturdy. It's very sturdy. It works great, and it's secure. Next one on my list is this one. Now... As you all know, I believe in this one. I got this from, you can get it from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And it, it's filled up with them, actually. This one has just been kitted, and I took the extras out. But it does fit more in it when we're here at another row here. So it's 4, 8, 16, 23. There's 23 of these in there. It comes with the container and the lid. You find it in the jewelry container section because it's for people who make jewelry to keep their little beads in but it's perfect for diamond painting this is the first thing i ever used um it's big enough for the drills there's plenty of it in there um it costs ten dollars 9.99 unless you get it on sale um i think i got this one on sale and it was like 3.99 and i bought like four of them 
because when I store my drills, I store them in these kind of containers. These kind of containers. Um, um, that might change in the near future, but as of right now, I store it in these. I do not store it in this container. This particular container. All right, I do not store it in this box. This is just a kitted box. And I love these. I love to use these for my diamond. I'll put my drill thing in here. Like that. And when I'm kitting something, kitting something up, I will do it on here. So if it, anything falls, it falls on here. And I can just put it back in. And it ain't scattered everywhere. Or you can do it with this right here. The bottom part is deeper. Um, like I said, I use these to store my containers. And I'll put it in here like this. This is how I store my extra containers. And these come from Hobby Lobby. But these are like $1.99, $2.99. They aren't very, they're in the jewelry section, but they aren't very expensive at all. And if you store your containers in them, they do get quite pricey. And quite, well, not quite pricey, but quite bulky. I'm fixing to make right over here on this wall in front of me. I'm going to make a shelf to put these in. So I have it in a row and I can just easily reach it. Right now, it's over there in my container below the TV and the Xbox. But that's the way I store my extra drills. And this is just the yellows and greens. I do it, I do it according to rainbow. Because when I first started saving them, I did not have the DMC codes and I still have yet to buy a DMC code book. I need to. I think that will be my next purchase. But that's the way I store these. Now I don't recommend getting a container like this and storing your beads in it or your drills. Because simply because when you open it, they're open. All of them. And it will spill everywhere. And then when this right here is put like this or like this or whatever, they'll spill everywhere and mix. I don't recommend that to use this to drill in. I do recommend um, taking these containers and storing them in it. That is, it's very efficient. And, and I know y'all see some little containers. I bought these right here. And the, the drills that I just have small amounts, I put them in this. And then as it gets larger amounts, I have more of these that I will put them in. Um, but as of right now, that's all it needs. And every time I drill something or get through it, get through and de-kit it, I, I go through all of them and I put them in the, the, the order that they're supposed to go in. Not numer numeric. I put them in a um, color coded. So that's the way I do that. Um, so I do recommend this one. I like it a lot. There. Now on to this one. I liked this so much, and I bought two. And I have already kitted one. Y'all saw me, if you watched the video, I kitted this on camera with this. That's the extra. Now, if you've got a big painting with a lot of drills, I do not recommend this. I have another one that I do recommend. But as far as what I'm going to do with it, it's perfect the way I did it. And it comes with... The, the container that is not secure, it's 
you turn it over, it will fall. I promise you, I did it a while ago. And it comes with the little containers. And they are secure. They screw. And I also love the little lid. You can use it to put your drills in or like your little. I don't fit the big one, but I have a little bit little one out of it. Or a smaller one in there. And then you can just drill it in there, or pour it in there, whatever. So this one I bought on Amazon. There will be a link below. And like I said, I liked it so much, I bought two. It's really compact, so it isn't very big. It wouldn't take much to put like a rubber band around this way and then around this way to secure it. I wish I had one to do that with to show you, but I don't. So this one is okay. It isn't my favorite, but it's okay. But you do need the little, if you have a lot of beads, you do need to find something else to put your extra beads in if you don't put them in one of these. I just put them in little baggies and labeled the little baggies. I have a video on how I kitted this. So this one right here, I do recommend um, it's not my favorite though. I don't. I switched the lid about when it needed to. See the sticker? Alright. So, I will tell you this. When this drops, you know it. Because it makes a crashing sound. It sounds like you shattered something, but it's affordable. I bought it on Amazon. Yeah. Okay, on to the next one. We're going to do Tic Tac, con tic -tac containers. This is the first Tic Tac container I bought. This one does have a secure container. Now, as far as reliable, can't really say. I, I, I have not had this for very long and they're already popping open. I'm scared to even use them. They all stand up. It does pop and it does come out. It isn't very big. And you could just do like this and like this and it'll come out. I have not drilled these yet or kitted with these yet, so I have no clue. So I guess I'll have to do that and then tell you what I think. I do know that this has been in there for a while and some of these containers have popped open. I don't know why. So you make your own mind up with this one. This one caught, it came with a kit. Um, came from Amazon and came with a kit. And I will put the link below. Um, as far as it... Um, the container, I can say, is sturdy. Um, they're kind of tiny. They're not as big as an actual Kit Kat container. They're like a miniature Kit Kat container. And I thought if I ordered a bigger set, that it would be more, but it wasn't a bigger. So, I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. But I just wanted to show you this. To show you that it is an option. It is out there. I know that 
Wish has it. I know Amazon has it. I know AliExpress has it. I know Today's Deals, Savings or whatever has it. And Peggy Buy has it. I know there's a bunch of other places that have it too. Any normal supply company. I don't know about Diamond Art Club or any Diamond Dots and stuff. I don't know about that. But I know all the other ones. This is the common one that they show for sale. I will put a couple links down there below so you can check some prices out. Just in case you want to try this out like me. I was curious. I wanted to see what it was going to be like. So I just tried it out. Ordered it and decided let's try it out. I got a couple big paintings that have 60, 40, and 45 in it. My OCD is like taking me over and I have to turn all these the right way. <laughs> they did not come the right way. Um, so yeah, I'll just put a couple links down there below in the comment section and you decide for yourself. I'm not going to recommend this right now because I haven't tried it. Until I try it, I will not recommend something. But it is, it looks like it's good for a little big kit. Alright, next one. Some coffee. This one, same kind of thing in it. This one has the little, it is very snug. The handle is just the indention. You can store things in the middle, like your roller or a pin some glue and a tray. It will hold more, but that's what the middle is for. It snaps shut. It does have this little thing on the side if you want to hang it up. Right there. Um, I like it that it has that. If you want show you something. Let's say you wanted to move it to the middle. You just take this piece out, insert it in the middle right here, and then you can move these over. It's kind of bowed. It's kind of cheap. Looking. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to put it in the middle because of that, huh? It isn't really made for that. So, I just saw that. Sorry. But we have to do it anyway because I have to put all these in the right way. I'm not going to do it. It's going to plug me if I don't. But that's why I bought this one because it did have the, the place to put that. So if you wanted to travel with it, it's very much travel friendly. This has to go in. There's a bottom slit down there. It has to go in right here. See it? Yeah. So... These Tic Tac containers are the same size as the other one, the same lid, they're pretty much the same, they're just in a different container. I did order this off at a store on Amazon. I don't, again, I don't know how durable they are, how well they stay sealed, or, I know they do pop shut. I don't know if they stay shut. 
And I do know that there is a lot of them. And it's hard to get them in a row going the same way. I don't know if they're open because they seem dirty. I don't know why. I haven't even used them. Maybe it's just me. I'm sorry, guys, but this has got to be turned around. They got to be all going the same way. This one. Um, this did come with a bunch of stuff, as you saw in my container video where I opened it. Look back and see what it came with. I ordered it with a bunch of stuff. I think this was one of them. Come with a big tray and all that kind of stuff. I liked it because it had the middle to store things, and it was a large number. Of con little containers. There are stickers that you can purchase for these to label them. This one would just be easier. Put them up together and just turn them right. The OCD is like bugging me with this. There. Now I have to put this back in. There's that one. Alright. Next. This one. Next one. Next three I do recommend. Well, wait, this one. There's the stackables that you can get. They come in a container, but I can't find it right now. They do come. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. Up there. Anyway, they do come in a container. Um, they come with the screw on. Um, some people like them. I particularly don't like them. I mean, it is travelable. It will. It is easy to travel with it, but they're all connected. There's no unconnected. Them. If you want this color in the middle, you have to unscrew it like that. Um, some people might like it, but particularly me, I don't. I store my special drills in it because I bought it to try. So, we have that. Then we have this beauty. This beauty comes in several size, sizes. Has a very secure lid. This one is the more pricey one. This one is expensive. You can buy it on Amazon, AliExpress. I think Peggy Buy even has it. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I know AliExpress and Amazon have it. This particular one I got off of Amazon. I know AliExpress, a store of AliExpress. It's, it's, it's one that is very much one that people store their extra drills in. 
because there's so many of these in, in one of them. And this is actually the smallest one. Um, it does snap. It's very secure. It's very secure. You hear the snap? So, I mean, I do recommend these. Um, yeah, I recommend these. I really like them. I wish I could say more about them, but they say everything for themselves. They are the more desirable ones that that people who do diamond paintings on a regular basis get. They're perfect for large paintings, um, like a special drill or whatever. Um, their storage containers strip good for um, the drills that you keep. If you keep your drills, they're very good for that. And like I said, they come in the different sizes, and the pictures will be after. So, and as you can see, it's a white container that they're in. This particular container got damaged in transit because I bought it before the COVID-19. So it did get damaged. And from what I've seen on the comments on AliExpress, go ahead and expect it to have that because most of them do. It is very secure. It has a, not a clear back. And I just love them. I love them. I will be ordering two more, but they are quite pricey. And I will put the link below. Next are these. These come in two different sizes. The, 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 they're black when you get them. And then the zipper are different colors. You can get them in different colors, the zipper part. Um, this one has a cloth handle. This one has a plastic handle. The bigger ones have the plastic handle or the rubber, whatever you want to call it. And it does like flatten out and it pulls out like that. They both have double zippers. We're going to do the smaller one first. Now, they don't come with the stickers on them. The jewels on them. They don't come like that. I did that. I bought these from Michael's and I put them on there to decorate it. Because I like sparkly stuff. And I like things to look pretty. So this is the one I travel with. Um, when you unzip it, it comes with a pouch right here, a mesh pouch. It comes with the foam already cut out with the drills. If you wanted to take them out, you could. They're not stuck in there. Um, you can order the foam if you want it. They're on Amazon, Etsy, AliExpress, Peggy Buy, eBay are the only ones that I know of. I do very much recommend these. Um, the containers are bigger than the other ones that we had. They're perfect for putting drills in. This is one of my favorite, favorite things to put diamond paintings in to set up a, a diamond painting. I only have one small one, but I will have all the colors before I'm through because I love it that much. Um, and I do love it so much. You can put your extra drills right here, your utensils right here, your... Um, anything you want to put right there, you can put right there, and it'll stay there. They are very secure. They have screw lids. 
screw on lids. They're very much, you can put a, a little label sticker. And all around, I love this one. Now this one, the zipper is right here. And the handle's on the back, what I call the back. Now, I loved this so much that I wanted to buy another one, but I needed to buy a bigger one. And I will decorate this one. I just haven't been to the store yet. This one, the handle's on the front. It is a more sturdy handle. It ain't just cloth. It's the same kind of case that I love. It's sturdy. It's waterproof. You have a big painting. This one's perfect. Look at that. 60. Isn't that pretty? A 60. And again, it comes with the foam core already cut. Has the mesh pouch that we love right there. Um, the containers are just as big. And they do screw. They're just like the other ones. So they do screw on. Perfect for putting labels on right here. I love this one. I recommend it. You put two diamond paintings in this or just one big one. Um, this one's the 30 and this one is the 60. It does come with a different zipper. Um, I got this one purple. I didn't know it. I don't think I knew I got purple. I think I just ordered one. I didn't pick the color. Um, but you can get the zipper in different colors right there. You can get the zipper in different colors. And it's very reliable. Very good zipper, by the way. I like to put my zippers in the front, both of them, like that. I like this one. So, recapping. This one we like. This one we like. This one we like. This one we like. Remember, I didn't buy it with those stickers on it. It's a smaller version of this right here. This one's okay, and it does come in bigger sizes. And we have our two different Tic Tacs. We have two different sizes of connectable for it like this, but I don't have the other one. And then we have these. So those. Those are our containers. I'm going to stay up. There. Those are our containers. I hope you make your own decision on the ones that you like. Comment below. Make sure you let me know. If you know of any other kind of containers, like I did say, I do know there's bigger ones of this one. And they come in color sizes, but I don't really care for them. There's also this big binder book. I'll put a picture of it in it somewhere. And um, I will buy it eventually. But it, it has big, huge connectables like these. 
so we'll buy that one and do a video of it by itself so this has been my container video don't forget to subscribe share me we're fixing to have a contest going on so get out there and share this video I'll see you later.